Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Thomas. I have been gone for a little bit. However, back at it again with yet another video. In today's video, I'm going to be updating you guys on why I've been gone for so long, spilling some tea, share with you guys what's been going on, give you guys a little bit of a new apartment tour um, that I know I'm not gonna post anywhere else. So I'm gonna throw in a little bit of an apartment tour, a lot of tea spilling about beauty stuff. So, so yeah, if you guys are excited about today's video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We're pretty chill over here and we enjoy memes. And without further ado, also, let me know in the comment section down below some things that are going on in your life. Update me on your guys' life. I want to see what's going on in your life, you know? I look like Nick Crompton with this outfit on and this hair. I really look like Nick Crompton right now. I think I kind of want to do like a little ooky spooky look, but I haven't decided yet. Um, so I don't know what I want to initially talk about yet. Like, I don't know what the first thing I want to talk about. Like, what, what should the first thing I even talk about be? Oh, thank you guys so much for half a million subscribers. That's absolutely entirely in freaking sane. I seriously don't even know what to do with myself. And I know it wouldn't even be possible without Tati in my life. Like, Tati reached out to me wanting to do a collab, and I said yes. And my life has changed since then, high key. Not even high key, like, like full key. I don't want this jacket on. I've decided I don't want this jacket on. Oh, get off of me. Get, it's too hot for this. It's too fucking hot for this. I suddenly look so skinny. I just, it's just weird knowing that there's so many people out there that kind of come to me for my opinion and like to hear what I have to say about certain things. Like a lot of people come to me for my uh, personality. And that's like one thing I need to learn. Um, people don't come for me, come to me for my shadiness. Even though I don't think I'm shady, I just think I'm honest. People come to me for the fact that I'm me. Ooh, this already ain't it. Oh, I know where I got this idea from. Oh my God, this ain't it. Is that it? No, that I need to chief. I need to clean that up. Can we talk about this man who plays Michael Langdon on American Horror Story? Can we talk about him real fast? I need this man to ram his giant fat heart into my soul. Like that sickly dead look. I wanna do like a sickly dead look moment. I think that'd be really fun. Me and my boyfriend of two years decided to break up. Well, I broke up with him. I broke up with him for a few reasons. I think the thing for me was like, we were both like very toxic people outside of our relationship and then coming together as two toxic people um, kind of just made things one big toxic mess, if that makes any sense. This? This ain't it, Chief. Well, as I was saying, when you put like two toxic people into a relationship together, obviously it's gonna be a toxic relationship. <laughs> and that's just like the sad truth. Like when it comes to the point where you're both like hurting each other consciously and subconsciously, indirectly and directly, it's just like you gotta, you gotta know when like enough is enough and i think kevin didn't really understand when that was but i did so i decided to end it but yeah we've broken up and there's no chances of us getting back together i'm not upset about it either a lot of people were surprised see that i wasn't really sad about it i kind of checked out of the relationship a long time ago i didn't want to subject myself to a relationship that no longer served me and i know i feel like i knew what was best for both of us I haven't had the chronic anxiety that I've been dealing with at all. Like, I haven't had to go to the hospital. I haven't had panic attacks. I haven't had any of that stuff. Obviously, I'm not going to subject myself to something that kind of ruins my life. But at the end of the day, like, I still love him. I still care about him. I still hope for the best with him. Like, I hope everything, I hope everything he wants to do in life comes true. Like, obviously, you don't want to wish ill will on someone. I got these concealers. I think these are called the Power Play. Yeah, the Power Play concealers. There's a white one um and different colors they sent me like a little box so i got a new apartment finally can i hype my, myself up for a second like i'm i'm very proud of myself for kind of my work ethic and like staying true to myself and staying true to my craft and my craft like i'm some chef or something um but just like keep it out of it and not giving up on myself that i've done my whole life do you know what i mean thanks to you guys i'm able to say that i got an apartment in Los Angeles, that's like really, 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 really nice. And I'm able to call it mine and like just my name's on the lease of it. No one had a sign on there. Okay, so I'm filming on my phone and it might be very echoey because it's 
There's a new apartment. But here's the front door. Look at that. Look at that door. Here, this is my legs. Welcome to my legs. This is like the basic overview of the apartment. It looks small on camera, but it, trust me, it's massive. It's big, guys. It's massive. This is the kitchen, pretty standard kitchen. This is like the dining area. This is Daniel. Hey, guys. Oh, God. That's, that's just so funny to me. It has dual heat, so you can actually turn down the heat and keep pricing it, y'all. Okay, you don't, you're, not, you're not trying to sell that part of there. I already got it. I'm gonna hang my TV there. My huge ass sectional will be going like right here in this like motion. Um, probably put bar stools there, um, dining table there, probably like office over there. This is like the hallway into like the two bedrooms. My washer and dryer. This is the guest bathroom. It's a pretty standard bathroom. Then we have where I'm going to have my filming and all that stuff. This is like, it's a pretty, it's not, small but it's not big either i don't need like a big space for filming because again it's a studio that i'm filming and i'm not it's nothing crazy you know what i mean <laughs> that's fucking hilarious this is the master bedroom oh they have carpet i love that they have carpet sometimes i just want to wake up and rest my feet on some nice, warm, cushiony carpet and not some cold, hard wood floor. You know what I mean? The apartment's like 1,400 square feet, by the way. So this is the master bedroom. Um, it has so many windows. <laughs> so this is the hallway into kind of like where the master bathroom's at and then the closet. I'm so excited about the closet because the closet is massive. And then this is the master Bathroom, pretty standard bathroom. Um, I, of course, had to pay a high security deposit because this rent ain't it, sweetie. I've been working a lot of stuff on like trauma and like working with a therapist and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna go too much into detail because it's not anyone's business yet. Like I don't, I'm not comfortable talking about that stuff yet. But I will say that I've been working with a therapist. I've been working with um, good people in my life. I'm trying to get this stuff under wraps, like get my eating disorder under control, which I have been doing a very good job at. I think, trigger warning by the way, I have been suffering with an eating disorder for the past maybe five years of my life. Um, it's gotten worse the past year uh, that I've been on YouTube especially. Just because when you're on YouTube, like you edit your own videos and you kind of like see yourself uh, in different perspectives and it kind of messes with you a little bit, like it messed with me. It just made me kind of hate myself a little bit uh, more than I already did. I'm gonna kind of like... Ooh. It's kind of made me hate myself a little bit more than I already do and it kind of made me like not eat <laughs> at all. I stepped on the scale and I saw that I weighed 160 and some of you are like, oh, 160 is not bad, but I'm a six foot four man with a wide frame, not like a wide, wide frame, but like a wide frame, eating five to a thousand, 500 to a thousand calories a day, eating one meal a day, maybe even no meal a day. So you have to understand like, and mind you, I wouldn't even finish that meal. Um, so you have to understand, like put, put that in perspective, like how dangerous that is for someone's health. And I didn't realize how dangerous that was until I fainted and then I went to the doctor and I, they told me like, if you don't fix yourself, if you don't start eating, you're going to, and not to be morbid, but you're gonna kill yourself. Oh my God, did everyone get that presidential alert crap? I got so mad, I was like, who the fuck is texting me right now? And it was a, it was a stupid ass president. I was like, um, excuse me, sir. I don't know who gave you my number, but lose it. How I've been kind of combating the whole eating disorder thing, I've been um, doing these meal prep stuff with this really cool girl based out in Los Angeles. Oh, I just know this is gonna be too much. She does meal prep, she's a chef. She's really, 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 really talented with what she does. Um, and I eat two of her meals a day and then like snacks in between. Um, I'll leave her information like on the screen if you guys are interested, if you live in LA and you're looking for meal preps. Her stuff is so freaking good. Like it's some of the best food I've ever had in my life. 
and it's definitely been helping and putting me in the right direction. I'm going to see a personal trainer soon and a nutritionist. Uh, I just got back from LA from being in being back home for like two to three weeks, so I'm still in the process of that stuff. I am very excited to start the process and get my life back in order and stop self-harming myself. That's something I've been doing my whole freaking life is like self-harming in different forms. Like if it wasn't like, phys like physical self-harm, like punching myself in the head, it was like self-destructing, self-sabotage, eating disorders. Like I, I self-harm myself in so many different ways because I genuinely like, and not to like be a little bit too heavy, but like I genuinely hate myself and like <sighs> that gives me anxiety and it triggers me a little bit saying that out loud and like kind of sharing that with people because a lot of people joke about hating themselves, but I mean, I have this weird level of narcissism, but also like this weird level of self-hatred and like I hate myself so much that like I try to change myself in every single form and it's a little bit heavy for me. I obviously love myself to a degree because I wouldn't be posting myself. I think... I think the fact that I post myself on social media um, and I'm so open like that on social media is because I do have a level of narcissism, but I also feel like I hate myself. So like I'll post myself, but I'll nitpick everything about myself. It's like this weird combination of narcissism and self-hatred that are kind of like inter intertwined. I'm going to use this new Ofra highlighter, All of the Lights. So. I think I need you guys to bear with me a little bit when it comes to uploading over the next over the next month because I am moving. Um, I'll try to upload once a week over the next month, but it will go back to my twice a week that I was very consistent on. Um, probably the beginning of November. I might post twice a week here and there. I mean, I move in, I think, in a few days if they let me uh, get, get in early, but... Um, yeah, I also have this Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I might throw this into a first impressions. Look how pretty this is. Okay. So pretty. I'm going to probably go into Bloom and Twig. And I went to North Carolina for three weeks to see family and kind of recharge because your boy needed it. Like, more than you understand. Been dealing with a lot of news that I've been trying to cope with and process my emotions a little bit more personal stuff that I never thought I was ever gonna have to deal with in my life to be honest um, but it's a part of the growing up and just understanding yourself and learning to love yourself and yada 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 so it's mostly like brown like red red liner so I'm just gonna do cool tone browns so let's talk about beauty community drama something I have been kind of hush hush about. I used to get, I just, I don't know. Like it's, at some point you have to understand how exhausting hearing the same shit over and 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 over again. But a lot of people hate the same people, but still watch their videos, still give like drama channels views talking about this person or this person or this person, but you hate our guts so much, but you still kind of support us and put money in our pocket and give us power. Like, why do you keep giving people you don't like power? I don't understand it. And I guess a lot of you just don't understand that you're giving people power by talking about them so damn much. Are you talking about them because you hate them and you want to see them get the come up and stuff they deserve? Or are you talking about them because you're bored with your life? You're bored and you have nothing better to do and you just enjoy talking about people because you like complaining and hearing yourself talk. Or do you actually care about justice? Like, I'm, I'm trying to like siphon through the people that actually care versus the people that are just there to hear themselves talk. Instead of complaining about the same people over and over again, maybe support the people that don't get talked about all the time. Ever thought about that, Shirley? Ever thought about supporting and giving other artists and other people support and hype or do you just like complaining about the same five people over and over again i genuinely genuinely want to know oh let's move on let's talk about something else for once let's stop complaining about the same fucking people and start supporting new faces and supporting new f like artists and like stop you guys hate the same people but refuse to give other people shine. It's so weird. It's so fucking confusing to me and I'll never understand it. And just admit that you're complaining and admit you're just wanting to hear yourself talk. 
But if you actually want to see some fucking change in this community, start supporting people. Start supporting new artists. Stop leaving them in the shadows. Like, damn. Ah, uh, shit makes me so mad. For once, I'm going for the sick look instead of actually looking at... Isn't that a gag? Yes, she's looking dead, inflamed, and ready to slay. Okay, guys, this is it for today's video. I'm sorry I didn't do anything crazy or outlandish. I just wanted to update you guys on a few things. Let you guys know where I might be for the next month, and things will be back to normal on my channel very soon. Um, I know this video might be a little weird, a little bit different from what I've ever posted, just because... Um, it might be a little bit half-assed. I don't even know, but I want you guys to be a little bit patient with me over the next couple of months or Over the next month rather because I am going to be changing so much There's gonna be so much new things happening to my channel uh, To my life and I just need a little bit of patience with me um, because I seriously don't even know what's to come with my life and what's to come with everything so just be a little bit of patient with me and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyways, even though it was kind of depressing, wasn't that funny. I'll try to make it a little funny. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much, and I appreciate you so much. And thank you again for 500,000 subscribers. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.